I know you and, and Jason Lloyd uh, wrote an article, talked to Tristan McKenzie, and, and that's with The Athletic. McKenzie will get to start um, against uh, the Astros tonight in Game 2. The Guardians, tough one last night. You know, they, they gave, gave up a two-run walk-off. It was Hunter Gaddis um, after taking the lead in extra innings. Um, Take us through through the whole thing with Tristan McKenzie. You know, they, he shut it down last year and, and come back, and his velocity's down, and, and you know, it, it's, it hasn't been great. What, what have you found out in, in talking to Tristan? Yeah, I, if you look around the league, I think every coach and front office member is terrified and loses sleep at night because – their pitchers are tearing their elbows and everyone needs Tommy John surgery. Everyone needs to go on the injured list. Now, the thing is it's everybody has a little bit different of an issue. You know, not every tear is created equally. And so McKenzie had a tear above his elbow last summer and he was given the choice. What do you want to do from here? Do you want to have surgery? Do you want to rest and then try to pitch through it? And he got different advice from different doctors that he consulted um so he chose to to rest came back in september made a couple starts and the hope was he'd have a normal off season and he'd bounce back in 2024 he, we haven't quite seen that you know the velocity's been down a little bit but also just the command has been missing and he doesn't look like the same guy who two years ago seemed like a burgeoning ace and cy young contender and they need him you know we laid out the issues with the rotation and the injuries and um, the bullpen's been overworked because of it. They need McKenzie to be that guy from a couple years ago. So he says he's pain-free, um, but at the same time, you never know if you made the right choice, right? <laughs> it's it's something that he's thinking about, um, and he's trying to figure out how he can be the best version of himself, and that might not be the same guy that he was two years ago. So it's tough. He, he only made four starts last season. You miss so much time. You accumulate rust. You develop new habits. And I think he's, I think it's a very much a work in progress with him in a rotation that has a lot of works in progress. Yeah, and, and you know what, it, it's it, he's a young guy still too. It's not like he's a guy that's been around. So I, he he may be second guessing himself even, and that's that's the last thing in the world. It's like just go out and pitch, and, and whatever happens happens. Yeah, and, and it's tough because it's human nature to one wonder is this you know am i still gonna tear the elbow like there are examples of guys who pitched through it and never needed the surgery there are examples of guys who tried the rest and recovery strategy came back and then tore it and you end up missing two two and a half seasons because of all that um so you're just constantly reevaluating yourself and assessing how you feel he said if if he tweaks something if something doesn't feel right he's wondering if it's related to the elbow somehow so it's just, it's a lot to process. And you're right. Like I'm sure he's putting pressure on himself because they need innings out of him and he hasn't been delivering. And I'm sure he's putting pressure on himself because of where he's at in his career. And you're thinking about your earnings potential in the future and landing a mega contract one day. So there's just a lot of factors that go into it. And when you get different consultations and you have to be the one to make the decision, it's something you have to live with, but it's something that you're going to think about just naturally yeah and for those that don't realize he's just such a good guy and a good kid and so involved in in wanting to make a difference you hope it works out for him without question